So let's start, uh, talk about the markets in two minutes, and let's start with what's going on in Japan, because there we've got the yen on the rise, wage data being discussed, Bank of Japan commentary once again leaning us towards suspecting change from the BOJ. What do you make of the latest commentary? It seems to me that this is very intentional, the amount of kind of headlines we're getting, the guidance that's like, I think they're going to go in March. Uh, you know, the debate, I mean... So only, March 19th is the date then? Yes, yeah, and it was only like, I'd say, a month or so ago that everyone thought that was way too early, maybe April. Now it's kind of turned into likely March, if not, then April. But basically, they're going to remove negative rates soon. I think the, 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 the wider investment community has still not yet got around to the idea that this might be a step or two steps uh, over this year rather than the start of a hiking cycle. Mm. And therefore, you're seeing yen do very well, but I think, and I think it will continue to do well into that meeting, post that meeting, probably into April. But I think ultimately after that, yen is probably going to be sell off again. OK, so we'll look for that in March. Yeah. Um, now, ECB today, no change expected in terms of rates. So nice time to throw in the question that Guy was putting to our last guest, which was all about, you know, if the ECB had a dual mandate like the Fed, would the ECB actually be cutting rates right now? Is that the, the concern level that we've reached around the European economy? It's a great question, but I don't think they'll be cutting quite yet. No, and I think actually ultimately, I think European growth won't be as bad as people think. I think that Europe is clearly the laggard. Uh, I think it was very, very disappointing data into the end of last year. But I think it's nearly the repeat of 12 months ago where we were really like, you know, if you remember at the start of last year, we were worried about Europe, UK careening into a terrible recession. Ultimately, they held up a little bit more resilient. Mm. I think it's kind of the same for Europe this year. It is poor. It's soggy. It's not good. I don't want to suddenly be sounding like super bullish in European growth. I just think it's going to be slightly more resilient. So I don't think the ECB would cut, be cutting now. And I, while I think that the ECB will go first in this cycle, which is unusual, and while I think there will be central bank divergence, I don't think ECB are going to have an aggressive cutting cycle this year because I'm coming around to the idea that Fed may not be cutting much at all this year, and that's probably where you get the big divergence.